Mauro Viganelli. He was born in Milan, Italy in 1931, and he started getting into design when he was a young boy. Um, as a teenager, he became enthralled with design and befriended many of the architect designers of his day. He studied architecture at the Polytechnic University of Milan and later at the University of Architecture in Venice. One of the things Massimo is known for is his saying, if you can design one thing, you can design everything. And I think this means that he thought that if you were a good designer, then why should you limit yourself to designing one specific thing, which is very true in his case. Um, Massimo definitely lived by this logo because, as you can see, these are some of his designs, and he worked in a very broad range of different areas. Um, a few of the things that he has worked with is package designing, furniture, as you can see some of those tables. Um, he worked with logos. The American Airlines is one of the ones that he did. He worked with public signage, such as the subway map, as shown, and some dishware, dishwa dishware and public showrooms, jewelry, and so many more things as well. Um, Massimo is a very simplistic designer. One example is through his fonts. Once he said, out of thousands of typefaces, all we need are a few basic ones and trash the rest. Um, then here in this black poster, these are really the only five fonts, the fonts that Massimo uses, and they're all very simple and basic and easy to read. He also worked with very basic geometric shapes for many of the designs in his furniture, as you can see this table. Um, he co-founded Viganelli Associates with his wife, Leela, and this consisted of many of the designs that he had worked with. And then in 2008, he donated the entire archive of his work to the Rochester Institute of Technology in New York for educational purposes so that the children or so that the I guess their teenagers um, and college students could learn from his work and could, could um, expand their horizons based on the things that he did. 